Hello friends. If you want to connect your Dialogflow agent to OpenAI and answer almost any query fired by the user, then you are looking at the right video. Hey friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn how to connect OpenAI and Dialogflow and we will use Node.js as programming language here. Before we get started, you need first a Dialogflow account and an agent inside Dialogflow. Second, you need account with OpenAI and you have access to OpenAI API key so that we can make a request to their server and find the response. For programming, we are going to use Node.js and Express. So it's necessary you install Node.js on your system. We will need ng-log so that we can expose our local host to internet and connect Dialogflow with our local host. The last thing is this Git repository. You need to clone this Git repository and you can either fork it or clone it or download as a zip. I have already downloaded the code and opened that folder in Visual Studio code. Now you need to create a .env file with two variables, one open AI API key and second pod. Pod is the pod on which we will start our server and open AI API key is the API key that you will get from OpenAI. The first thing I'll do is that I'll write npm install hyphen hyphen save. This will install all the required dependency to run this project. Next, I will Start the server with Nodemon. If you don't have Nodemon installed, you can use npm i or npm install g for global and the packet name Nodemon to install globally and use it anywhere from your command line. So I'll use Nodemon indexed.js. So the server is running. So this index.js is nothing but a simple uh, web application, express node.js web application. Here we are requiring all the dependencies and I'm not sure I'm using Axios. Uh, I think I'm not using Axios. Maybe it was due to some other work. Here we will require the dot uh, env module to read variables from env file. Here we will invoke the openai client. This function, this function will call openai, get the response, uh, make sure in the try and catch block, make sure that we get only the correct response. If we don't get the response, it will send empty response. Here we will create a web application, express web application. These are the some uh, settings for the web application. Uh, this is basic home route to make sure that our web application is running okay. And this is the route where Dialogflow will send its request. So let's connect Dialogflow to this server. Let me save this file. To connect Dialogflow with this local server, I will use ngrock http 5000. Make sure the port number here on ngrock is same as your local server. So I'll run this. I will copy this forwarding URL. I'll go to Dialogflow under fulfillment section. I will enable this webhook. I'll paste the URL followed by Dialogflow. I will save this. So that means 
Now any request fired by Dialogflow will come to ngrock and ngrock will pass it to our local server. So let's test the setting. Let me fire hi. So it will respond. Let me fire something else. What is SOS? So it will say sorry, I did not understand that. And the reason behind it is that we need to connect fallback intent to webhook for that. I'll come here and I'll first delete the response. Second, I'll go to fulfillment and enable fulfillment webhook. Also, I'll make sure that the action name is matching with our action name here. So in Dialogflow route, we get the action name and the query text fired by the user and we will pass it to text generation and get the response and pass that response to the user. So let me make sure that our action name matches with the action name in Google Dialogflow. So now things looks okay. So let me fire this again. What is SOS? So first you will see we have got uh, request here on ngrock which is passed to this local host and we can see that dialog flow with method post is called and here we see 200 ok that means we have successfully uh, send a response to the request and if we come here you can see we have the response here so let's try something else how to enable wi-fi in android phone You can see we got the response. Write a nice two line poem. Oh, that's really nice actually. So, this is it, I think. Uh, and you can see uh, it's working pretty smoothly. Uh, you can integrate the chatbot to any platform and you know uh, let user interact with the chatbot i think this is it from this part of the video on my youtube channel uh, i hope you have gained some knowledge from this video and it is helpful to you if you download the code from my github repository then please make sure you give a star to that repository it helps and also if you like my work please consider subscribing to my channel it helps as well thank you for watching peace